voodoo. Granddad was a priest in Trinidad. He used to tell us, when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. One of the films that I probably watched the most over and over again that was released in 1978 is Dawn of the Dead, which of course is George A. Romero's uh, sequel to his highly influential horror film, Night of the Living Dead, that was released uh, 10 years prior in 1968. It also gives a much more prominent role and a much more three-dimensional role to its lead actress. Night of the Living Dead's character of Barbara, um, as played by Judith O'Day, is pretty whiny, very fragile, but luckily in 1978, I think uh, George A. Romero kind of rectified what he had done with his previous film and gave Galen Ross a very three-dimensional role as one of the lead protagonists. She's pregnant, which brings a lot more sort of danger to her state, uh, and she's very proactive in a way that her male counterparts are not. I want to know what's going on. And I want to have something to say about the plans. There's four of us, okay? Jesus, Fran. Fair enough. An interesting story behind George Romero's Dawn of the Dead is that it was partially financed by Italian horror director Dario Argento. He agreed to put up half the money if Romero agreed to let him cut all versions not sent to North America. The difference between the Italian version and Romero's version is a lot of the humor is lost. Romero, in the end, said he didn't really like the Argento cut. He felt it was too brutal and too fast, whereas Argento obviously didn't understand the humor that Romero was going for. Dawn of the Dead was only released in Ontario with about, as I recall, something close to 20 minutes cut out of it. The setting in the shopping mall, the whole metaphor of consumerism was and the, its status as satire, but it became almost an outrage to me, even more than some of the foreign films <laughs> that had been uh, censored. Dawn of the Dead, of course, is filmed uh, in a mall within Monroeville, which is a suburb of Pittsburgh. And if you go to Pittsburgh, you will just meet someone who worked on Dawn of the Dead. Romero didn't necessarily do casting calls. He would uh, cast a lot of his family, his close friends, crew people as zombies. And I sort of think that that community family feel to these zombie films uh, makes them so, so charming. What movie should we explore next? Tell us in the comments and subscribe for more from Hollywood Suite.